any birth control pill, actually, especially if it has estrogen in it, increases the risk for blood clots. We all know that. That's why birth control pills are one reason why birth control pills are a prescription. You need to get them under a doctor's guidance because there's certain factors that will even increase that risk of clotting. One, if you're a smoker, age, that's why women over 35 who smoke we don't want to give birth control pills to. And actually, women will shop around to find some doctor who will, you know, give them a birth control pill if they smoke um, lots of packs a day and not tell, you know, and doctors because they want them, but they have an increased risk. Obesity also increased that risk. If you have a history of blood disorders, all these things will add yeah. to that. That's why you have to be under mm -hmm. a doctor's, um, you know, a doctor's yeah, instruction. And you need to know your family history because I, mm -hmm. I had a patient once that got on the pill and had a, a clot and she didn't know her family history. Uh, there was a family clotting history disorder? of had a clotting and disorder. So, Dr. Yeah. Lisa, really, this isn't anything new. It's not I mean, new. But what's new is there is a pill out that has risperinone in it. And there actually have been some conflicting studies, and this is where um, the media is sort of blowing it up, conflicting studies about whether or not the risperinone increases even more the clotting risk, because the clotting risk is very rare unless you add on these other risk factors. Um, but it's the FDA is still looking at those studies, so it is not definitive yet. So you don't necessarily need to go off this pill. You just need to speak to your doctor again about whether or not you should be on it. If you have any of the other risk factors, blood clotting disorders in your family, if you smoke, if you're over a certain age, um, if you're obese, these are all risk factors for blood clotting. And it's important because if you are a woman on birth control pills, particularly if you smoke, and you develop acute shortness of breath with chest pain, right. and it's sharp and worse with the deep breath, and you just don't feel right, you need to get it checked out. Because it's like if you're taking a medicine and the biggest risk is a little rash, but 50% of people get it, eh, okay, it's a lot yeah, of people, but it's a rash. Yeah, if good. there's a medicine that 1% of people have a very severe reaction or even death, to me, that's almost a bigger deal, and that's mm -hmm. where I think you're highlighting the importance of this, which is even though it doesn't affect a lot of people, when it does, it's, it's obviously tragic. So yeah. thank you, Dr. Lisa.